as we gather here today under the vast sky of possibility. Let me start by saying, life is an extraordinary journey, a tapestry woven from our experiences, choices, and dreams. Each one of us here is on a unique path, yet we're united by a common quest, the quest for a life brimming with success, happiness, and fulfillment. But how do we navigate this journey? How do we turn the pages of our everyday existence into a story worth telling, a life worth living? Now, I've often pondered this question, and through the years, I've come to realize that there are certain principles, certain rules that, if followed, can guide us towards the life we aspire to lead. These aren't just abstract concepts. They are the beacons that light our way through the fog of uncertainty and doubt. They are what I like to call the seven rules of life. Imagine, if you will, a ship setting sail on the vast ocean. The captain must have a clear course, knowledge of the waters, and an understanding of the stars that guide him. Similarly, in the voyage of life, these seven rules are our stars, guiding us through calm and stormy seas alike, ensuring we don't lose our way. Now, you might wonder, what are these rules? Are they complex theories, accessible only to the few? No, my friends, they are simple truths, principles as old as time, yet as fresh as the morning dew. These rules are about embracing change, maintaining a positive attitude, setting and chasing goals, the unending pursuit of knowledge, building and cherishing relationships, the discipline and persistence in our actions, and the joy of giving back. As we embark on this journey tonight, discussing each of these principles, I encourage you to think of them not just as rules, but as companions on your journey towards a better you. For in the end, the quality of our lives depends not on the circumstances we encounter, but on how we engage with these principles. You see, the journey towards greatness, towards achieving our dreams, is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's not about how fast we run, but how well we navigate the path, how steadfastly we keep moving forward, even when the finish line seems just over the horizon. So as we delve into each of these rules, I invite you to open your minds and hearts, reflect on your own lives, your own dreams, and see how these timeless principles can be the wind in your sails, propelling you towards your very own promised land. Together tonight, let's explore these principles not just as concepts, but as practical guides. Guides that can help us mold a life rich with success and satisfaction, a life where we aren't just drifting along, but are steering confidently towards our destined harbor. And remember, it's not just about reaching the destination. It's about enjoying the journey, learning from it, growing with every wave we ride. As we start this journey together, let's remind ourselves the power to live the life we dream of lies within us, within our grasp, waiting to be unleashed. So let's take that first step together. Rule moves, embrace change as a constant. In our exploration of life's fundamental principles, we find ourselves confronting the first monumental truth. Embrace change as a constant. Now, this might sound like a simple notion, yet it holds the key to unlocking a life of true fulfillment and achievement. You see, life is much like the seasons. Just as nature dances from spring to winter, our lives too follow a rhythm of change. But here's where it gets interesting. How we respond to this change determines the quality of the life we lead. We can either resist and stand still, or we can flow with it and grow. Let's ponder for a moment on the beauty of change. A seed, when planted in the soil, doesn't remain just a seed. It changes, grows, and blossoms into something extraordinary. Similarly, each one of us has the potential to grow beyond our current selves. But growth requires change, and change requires courage. The courage to step out of our comfort zones, to challenge the status quo, and to dare to dream bigger. Now, some may say, why embrace change when things are going just fine? Well, think of it this way. A ship in harbor is safe, but that's not what ships are built for. 
They are meant to sail the vast oceans, to explore, to discover. Just like ships, we are not meant to stay anchored in the safety of the familiar. We are meant to sail towards new horizons, to explore the vast potential that lies within us. Embracing change is about being proactive in life. It's about taking the reins in our hands and steering our lives in the direction of our dreams and aspirations. It's about making things happen rather than waiting for them to happen. Remember, the future is not a distant reality. It begins today with the choices we make and the steps we take. However, embracing change isn't always about making big leaps. Sometimes it's about those small steps those little adjustments that we make in our daily lives. It's about improving a little each day, becoming a bit better than we were yesterday. Over time, these small changes accumulate, and before you know it, you've transformed your life. Now, it's important to understand that embracing change doesn't mean recklessly jumping into the unknown. It's about thoughtful and deliberate action. It's about weighing the winds, setting the sails right, yet being flexible enough to adjust our course when needed. It's about having a vision, a plan, and then adapting as we move. Let's also acknowledge that change can be challenging. It can be uncomfortable, even scary at times. It often means letting go of old habits, old beliefs, and sometimes even old dreams. But remember, letting go is not a sign of defeat. It's a sign of strength, it's a testament to our ability to adapt and evolve. And as we embrace change, we must do so with a sense of resilience and optimism. Change, after all, is not just an external process. It's an internal one. It's about changing how we think, how we perceive, and how we react to the world around us. It's about being resilient in the face of challenges and optimistic about the possibilities that lie ahead. In embracing change, we must also be patient with ourselves. Change doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey, not a sprint. It's about consistent effort, persistent work, and unwavering faith in our abilities. As we embark on this journey, let's remind ourselves of the incredible capabilities that lie within us. The capability to adapt, to grow, and to thrive amidst change. So, as we continue to navigate through the layers of these life rules, let's carry this principle with us. Uh, embrace change as a constant. Let's embrace it not with fear or apprehension, but with open arms, with a heart full of dreams, and a spirit ready to soar. For in embracing change, we embrace the essence of life itself. Let's take this step, let's embrace change. And let's do it with the conviction that it is the pathway to a life of greatness. Rule two, cultivate a positive attitude. As we continue on this journey, exploring the essential rules for a fulfilling life, let's seamlessly transition from embracing change to our next critical principle. Cultivating a positive attitude. This rule while seemingly straightforward is often the cornerstone upon which the structure of personal success and inner happiness is built. Consider for a moment the power of attitude. It's the lens through which we view the world. It shapes our perceptions, colors, our experiences, and ultimately writes the story of our lives. A positive attitude is like a beacon of light in a dark room illuminating the hidden corners of opportunity and hope that reside in our daily challenges. Now, cultivating a positive attitude doesn't mean ignoring life's less pleasant situations. It simply means maintaining a mindset that chooses to focus on the potential, the growth, and the lessons inherent in every situation. It's about seeing the glass half full, recognizing that while we may not control every aspect of our lives, we certainly control how we react to them. Think about a garden, a place of potential beauty. The quality of its soil determines the quality of the plants that grow within it. Similarly, the quality of our thoughts, the soil of our mind, 
determines the quality of the life we cultivate. Plant seeds of positivity, nurture them with hope and optimism, and you'll be amazed at the garden of joy and success that grows. This rule isn't just about feeling good, it's about a fundamental understanding that positivity is a driving force, a force that propels us forward, encourages us to take action and helps us to persist in the face of adversity. It's the fuel that powers our journey towards our goals, dreams, and aspirations. Cultivating a positive attitude also means practicing gratitude. It's easy to get caught up in what we lack or what we wish was different. However, when we pause and express gratitude for what we have, our perspective shifts. We start to see the abundance in our lives. And this abundance mindset is what attracts more success and happiness. Furthermore, a positive attitude is contagious. It not only uplifts our spirits, but also those around us. It's a gift that keeps on giving, spreading light, and inspiration. By being that person who radiates positivity, we become a beacon for others, encouraging them, lifting them, and helping them see the potential in their lives. Now, cultivating a positive attitude is not something that happens overnight. It's a practice, a daily commitment. It's about choosing every day to focus on the positive, to find the silver lining in every cloud and to see challenges as opportunities for growth. It's about waking up each morning and affirming that today can be a good day simply because we choose to make it so. But let's be clear, cultivating a positive attitude is not just about affirmations or wishful thinking. It's also about action. It's about taking those positive thoughts and turning them into positive actions. It's about aligning our mindset with our behavior, ensuring that our actions reflect our positive outlook. In essence, cultivating a positive attitude is about creating a self-fulfilling prophecy. When we expect good things to happen, when we anticipate success and happiness, we set in motion a series of events and actions that make these expectations a reality. Our attitude, in a way, acts as a magnet, attracting circumstances. Rule three, set goals and pursue them relentlessly. Continuing our journey through life's essential lessons, we arrive at a pivotal chapter, the art of setting goals and the relentless pursuit of them. This rule is not just about establishing targets. It's about embracing a vision for your life, a vision that guides your decisions, fuels your determination, and shapes your destiny. Think about the great achievements in history, the feats that stand as beacons of human potential. Behind each of these accomplishments was a goal clear and resolute, and a person determined to see it through against all odds. Setting a goal is like drawing a map for a treasure hunt. The goal is the treasure and the relentless pursuit. It's the adventure, the journey, the unyielding quest that takes you to the treasure. Now, let's break it down. What does it mean to set a goal? A goal is not just a wish or a hope. It's a clear, specific target, something you can see, almost feel. It's as vivid as a photograph. You don't, that's too vague, too nebulous. Instead, you define what success means to you in the most vivid terms. Maybe it's to own a business, to master a skill, to make a significant change in your community. Whatever it is, define it and paint a clear picture of what it looks like. But here's the crucial part. Setting the goal is just the beginning. The real magic lies in the chase, the pursuit. Goals are not meant to be written down and then tucked away in a drawer, forgotten. They are meant to be lived every day with every ounce of passion and perseverance you possess. The pursuit of a goal is an active, dynamic process. It's waking up each day with a fire in your belly, ready to take another step towards that goal. Pursuing a goal relentlessly means staying the course, even when the going gets tough. It's easy to be enthusiastic about a goal when everything's going smoothly. But what about when obstacles arise, when things don't go as planned? That's when true determination shows. 
It's not just about chasing the goal when it's sunny. It's about chasing it through the storms, through the dark days when you can barely see the path ahead. And let's be clear, pursuing a goal doesn't mean being rigid or inflexible. Sometimes the journey to a goal will show you a different path, perhaps a better one. It's okay to adjust your sails, to recalibrate your route. The essence of relentless pursuit is not in sticking to a rigid plan, but in maintaining an unwavering commitment to reach the destination, no matter what twists and turns the journey takes. This principle also teaches us about failure. Failure is not a sign to give up. It's a part of the journey. Every failure brings with it a lesson, a nugget of wisdom that gets you closer to your goal. Embrace these lessons. Sometimes the greatest insights come from the detours and the setbacks. In your relentless pursuit, don't forget to celebrate the small victories, the milestones along the way. These celebrations fuel your journey, giving you the energy to keep going. They remind you that progress, no matter how small, is still progress. They are the markers that show you're on the right path. So as we move forward, let's hold tight to this rule. Let's set our goals with clarity and chase them with a determination that knows no bounds. Let's embrace the journey with its ups and downs, knowing that each step takes us closer to our dreams. Let's be relentless in our pursuit, not just because of what we achieve at the end, but for who we become along the way. For in the end, the true treasure is not just the goal achieved, but the person we've grown into in its pursuit. Let's set our goals and chase them with everything we've got, turning our visions into realities one relentless step at a time. Rule no four, invest in lifelong learning. As we continue on this path, having set our goals and committed to pursuing them relentlessly, we arrive at a rule that is fundamental to both our personal and professional grow, investing in lifelong learning. This principle is not just about accumulating knowledge, it's about fostering a mindset of continuous growth and development. Consider this, the world around us is ever changing constantly evolving. To keep pace with this relentless change, we must cultivate an unending appetite for learning. Lifelong learning is the sustenance that fuels our journey towards excellence. It's about keeping the mind sharp and the spirit inquisitive, constantly seeking new knowledge, new skills, and new experiences. Now, why is lifelong learning so crucial? Well, think of it as tending a garden. Just as a garden needs regular care and new seeds to flourish, our minds need continuous nurturing and new knowledge to grow. The moment we stop learning, we risk becoming stagnant, like a pond that no longer receives fresh water. We risk losing relevance both in our personal lives and in our professional endeavors. Lifelong learning goes beyond formal education. It's not confined to the walls of a classroom or the pages of a textbook. It's an ongoing process that takes place every day, in every experience, in every interaction. It's reading a book that challenges your thinking, attending a seminar that sparks a new idea, engaging in a conversation that opens a new perspective, or even learning from a mistake that teaches a valuable lesson. Investing in lifelong learning is also about cultivating curiosity. Curiosity is the compass that leads us to new discoveries, new paths, and new possibilities. It's about asking questions, seeking answers, and not being afraid to venture into the unknown. Remember, every expert was once a beginner, and every master was once a student. The journey from beginner to master is one of continuous learning. Let's also understand that investing in lifelong learning is an investment in ourselves. It's acknowledging that our greatest asset is our potential, potential that is limitless if we dare to tap into it. It's about preparing ourselves, not just for the challenges of today, but for the opportunities of tomorrow. In a world that never stops changing, the most valuable skill we can possess is the ability to keep learning. This principle also teaches us humility. The humility to acknowledge that we don't know everything, that there's always more to learn, it's about being open to new ideas, new ways of doing things, and even new ways of thinking. It's about embracing the fact that no matter how much we know, there's always something more, something new, something exciting just around the corner.
Lifelong learning is not a burden. It's a privilege. It's an exciting journey that enriches our lives, expands our horizons, and enhances our understanding of the world and the people around us. It makes us more adaptable, more innovative, and more adept at navigating the complexities of life. So as we move ahead, let's embrace lifelong learning not as a task, but as a treasure. Let's remain students of life, forever curious, forever eager, and forever growing. Let's make learning a part of our daily routine, seizing every opportunity to expand our knowledge, improve our skills, and enrich our lives. In the end, the true measure of our journey is not just in the goals we achieve, but in the learning that happens along the way. It's in the wisdom we gather, the insights we gain, and the perspectives we acquire. Investing in lifelong learning is investing in a life well-lived, a life of growth, a life of continuous evolution. Let's commit to being lifelong learners, for in this commitment lies the key to a life of endless possibility and boundless potential. Rule 5. Build strong relationships. As we continue to navigate through the essential rules for a life of fulfillment and success, we arrive at a fundamental truth that is as old as humanity itself. The importance of building strong relationships. This principle isn't just about social niceties. It's a cornerstone of a well-lived life. Strong relationships or the bedrock upon which we build not only our personal happiness but also our professional success. Now consider the trees in a forest. They may appear to stand alone, but beneath the soil, their roots intertwine, creating a network of connection that supports and nourishes them all. Similarly in our lives, the relationships we cultivate form an invisible network that supports and enriches us. These connections with family, friends, colleagues, and even casual acquaintances are more than just social structures. They are the very fabric of our existence. Building strong relationships is about more than just networking or accumulating contacts. It's about fostering genuine connections. It's about investing time and energy into understanding and caring for others. It's about listening, not just hearing. It's about being present, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally. But why are these relationships so important? They give us a sense of belonging, a feeling of being understood and appreciated. In our times of triumph, these relationships amplify our joy. In moments of despair, they provide comfort and soft strong relationships, give us the courage to be ourselves, to share our thoughts, our fears, our dreams, without the fear of judgment. Moreover, in the realm of professional success, strong relationships can be a ladder to greater heights, the business world, after all, is built on connections and trust. The relationships we build open doors to new opportunities, new collaborations, and new horizons. They are a testament to our character, our reliability, and our commitment. Now, building and nurturing these relationships requires effort. It's like tending a garden. You must water and nurture your relationships, give them the sunshine of your attention, and the nourishment of your compassion. Neglect them, and like the unattended garden, your relationships will wither. But tend to them, and they will flourish and bloom. One key aspect of building strong relationships is empathy. The ability to put ourselves in someone else's shoes, to see the world from their perspective. Empathy builds bridges. It breaks down barriers and it creates a mutual understanding that is the foundation of any strong relationship. Let's also remember that strong relationships are built on a foundation of mutual respect and trust. Trust is like a delicate vase. Once broken, it's hard to put back together. It's essential then to be honest, reliable, and consistent in our interactions. Our words and actions should align, creating a tapestry of integrity that others can rely on. In this fast-paced world, where technology often replaces face-to-face -face interactions. Let's not forget the power of a personal touch, a handwritten note, a phone call, a shared meal. These small gestures can have a profound impact on strengthening our bonds. But as we seek to build these relationships, let's do so with a spirit of giving, not just receiving. Relationships are not transactional. They're transformational. They're not about what we can get 
but about what we can give, how we can add value to the lives of those around us. As we move forward, let's carry this principle with us. Let's work on building strong, meaningful relationships. Let's connect with others, not just with our minds, but with our hearts. For in the end, the quality of our lives is measured not by our wealth or achievements, but by the richness of our relationships. Let's make building and nurturing these relationships a priority in our journey, for they are the treasures that truly enrich our lives. Continuing our exploration of the essential rules for a rewarding life, we come to a principle that acts as the backbone of success and personal growth, practicing self-discipline and persistence. This rule isn't just about doing things right. It's about doing the right things consistently and persistently, even when the initial spark of motivation has dimmed. Imagine for a moment a river cutting through rock, not because of its power, but because of its persistence. Similarly, self-discipline and persistence in our lives allow us to carve our path through the bedrock of challenges and obstacles. There are the tools with which we shape our destiny, chiseling away at our goals day by day, bit by Self-discipline is about taking control, control of your actions, your habits, your thoughts, and ultimately your life. It's about making choices that align with your goals and values, even when they're not the easiest or the most appealing options. It's choosing to wake up early to exercise even when the bed feels too comfortable, choosing to work on your project instead of watching TV, choosing healthy food over junk food. It's about making these choices consistently, turning them into habits, and these habits into a way of life. But let's be clear, self-discipline is not about deprivation or denial. It's about self-regulation and self-control. It's about recognizing that the easy choice now often leads to a hard life later, and conversely, the hard choice now often leads to an easy life later. It's about focusing on the long-term rewards rather than the short-term comforts. Now, closely tied to self-discipline is persistence, the ability to keep going, to keep striving, even when the going gets tough. It's the steadfastness that comes into play when faced with setbacks and failures. Persistence is saying, I will try one more time when everything inside you wants to give up. It's the understanding that success is a marathon, not a sprint, and that every step, no matter how small, brings you closer to your goal. Our self-discipline and persistence are also about balance. It's knowing when to push and when to rest, when to speak and when to listen, when to be firm and when to be flexible. This balance is crucial because the journey towards our goals is not a straight line. It's a winding path with ups and downs, successes and failures. Moreover, these principles teach us about patience. In today's world of instant gratification, we want things now. Success, wealth, happiness, but self-discipline and persistence remind us that the most worthwhile things in life take time to achieve. They require work, effort, and patience. They're about planting seeds now and nurturing them patiently, knowing that in time, they will bear fruit. Practicing self-discipline and persistence also builds character. It molds us into individuals who are not only successful, but also resilient, adaptable, and strong. It equips us with the skills to handle whatever life throws our way turning challenges into stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. As we embrace this rule, let's remind ourselves that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and it continues, step by step, day by day. Let's commit to practicing self-discipline in our daily lives, making choices that move us towards our goals. Let's persist in the face of adversity, knowing that each effort, each attempt, brings us closer to our dreams. Rule seven, give back and contribute. As we weave through the fabric of these life principles, we arrive at a deeply profound yet often overlooked rule, the importance of giving back and contributing. This principle is the culmination of our journey, the final piece that gives true meaning to all that we achieve. It's not just about success for ourselves, but about using that success to make a difference to contribute to something greater than us. Think of life as a garden. You work hard to cultivate your plants, to see them grow and flourish. But the true beauty of a garden is not just in its flourishing, but in its ability to provide, to give back, to nourish, to contribute to the world around it.
Similarly, our lives reach their fullest potential, not just when we achieve our goals, but when we use our achievements to contribute, to give back, and to uplift others. Giving back is about understanding that we are all part of a larger community, a larger story. We are threads in a tapestry that is richer because of our contributions. It's about recognizing that our greatest joys and satisfactions come not from what we receive, but from what we give. It's the knowledge that our greatest legacy will be the impact we have on others, the difference we make in the lives of those around us. Contribution doesn't necessarily mean grand gestures or enormous sacrifices. It can be found in everyday acts of kindness and the time we give to listen to a friend, in the effort we put into mentoring someone, in the resources we allocate to help those in need. It's about using our talents, our skills, our resources to make a positive imprint on the world. This principle also reminds us of the interconnectedness of life. Our own success is often the result of the contributions of many others, teachers who educated us, mentors who guided us, even strangers who provided inspiration. Giving back is our way of coming full circle of acknowledging that we are part of this beautiful cycle of giving and receiving. Furthermore, giving back is a powerful way to express gratitude. It's a way of showing appreciation for the opportunities we've had, the blessings we've received, and the lessons we've learned. It's an expression of our humanity, a testament to our ability to care for and support one another. As we integrate this rule into our lives, let's do so with a spirit of generosity and selflessness. Let's look for opportunities to contribute, to make a difference. Let's be mindful of the impact we can have and strive to leave a positive mark on the people we meet and the places we go. In conclusion, as we embrace the principle of giving back and contributing, let's remember that the true measure of our lives is not in what we accumulate, but in what we give. It's not in the milestones we reach, but in the helping hands we extend. Let's make giving back an integral part of our journey, for in doing so, we enrich not just our lives, but the lives of others. In giving, we receive the greatest gift, the realization that our greatest fulfillment comes not from what we take, but from what we give. Let's contribute, let's give back, and let's make our world a better place, one act of kindness at a time, as we draw the curtains on this exploration of the seven fundamental rules for a life of fulfillment and achievement, let us pause to reflect on how these principles can be woven into the very fabric of our daily existence. It's one thing to understand these rules intellectually, but quite another to live them, to breathe life into them every day. This is where the true transformation happens, not in the knowing, but in the doing. Integrating these rules into your life begins with a commitment a decision to embark on this journey of continuous growth and improvement. It's a commitment that goes beyond mere words. It's a commitment that is reflected in your daily actions, your habits, your choices. It's about waking up each day with a renewed determination to live by these principles, to let them guide your actions and shape your decisions. A first rule, embracing change as a constant, is by cultivating a mindset that is open, adaptable, and flexible. It's about embracing the ebb and flow of life with grace and resilience. As you face each day, remind yourself that change is not just inevitable, but is also an opportunity for growth and learning. Welcome change, for it is the catalyst that propels you forward on this journey. Cultivating a positive attitude. The second rule is about choosing to focus on the bright side of life. It's about facing each day with optimism and hope. This doesn't mean ignoring life's challenges, but rather choosing to approach them with a positive mindset. Let this attitude permeate all aspects of your life, coloring your interactions with others, your approach to challenges, and your outlook on the future. Setting goals and pursuing them relentlessly. The third rule is about living with purpose and intention. It's about charting a course for your life and then pursuing it with unwavering commitment. Make goal setting a regular practice and let these goals be your guiding stars as you navigate the complexities of life. Investing in lifelong learning? The fourth rule is about fostering a never-ending curiosity and a thirst for knowledge. Make learning an integral part of your daily routine, whether it's reading a book, listening to a podcast, or engaging in meaningful conversation. Let every day be an opportunity to learn something new, to expand your horizons. 
Building strong relationships, the fifth rule, is about nurturing the bonds that connect you to others. It's about investing time and energy in building and maintaining these relationships. Remember, life is richer and more meaningful when shared with others. Cherish your relationships, for they are the treasures that enrich your journey. Practicing self-discipline and persistence, the sixth rule is about staying the course, even when the going gets tough. It's about exercising control over your actions and maintaining focus on your goals. Let self-discipline and persistence be your companions as you navigate the ups and downs of life. Finally, giving back and contributing. The seventh rule is about using your success to make a positive impact on the world around you. Look for ways to contribute, to give back, to make a difference. Remember, the true measure of success is not what you acquire, but what you give. As we conclude, Let's remember that integrating these rules into your life is a journey, not a destination. It's a journey of continuous growth, learning, and self-improvement. It's a journey that is unique to each one of us. So embrace these rules, live them, and let them guide you towards a life of fulfillment, purpose, and joy. Let's embark on this journey together with open hearts and open minds, ready to embrace all that life has to offer.